All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakah Kodash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War, back at you again with another lesson. All right, and uh, I want to set the tone with um, this video clip that I saw a little earlier. Yesterday, Deanna, we talked about Australia, how lost it is down under, how basically they are the prototype for the new world order. The draconian lockdowns, the decontamination tents, law enforcement officials are spying on people, neighbors are telling on people, they're busting down doors to get these people. Uh, it's absolutely insane what's happening. And while we were doing that segment, we were getting intel about 24,000 children uh, that were supposedly ushered into the stadium and jabbed. We didn't report on it specifically yesterday because that was kind of alarming. We had to vet that information, and you're here today saying that you have checked this out and that, indeed, this is true. Right. It's absolutely true, actually. Um, they are ushering in and having a system where they're bringing thousands, tens of thousands of students, school age children into arenas to vaccinate them uh, at a mass level. But the one caveat they want to make sure parents are not included in that vaccination, that mass vaccination. So they're hurting children in there and making sure that parents are not allowed. Let's play this clip so we can see right from the horse's mouth. I want to stress that uh, to the mums and dads, your children will be well looked after inside. When they arrive, they'll be literally ushered. We'll have uh, nurses, we'll have uh, some of the youth command, we'll have uh, some of the young, young police from the, uh, uh, the various uh, operations within police there just to guide them through um, as to where they go. They'll be looked after every moment inside the, uh, the stadium and uh, they'll be well cared for. So mums and dads feel secure. Yeah. We've got about 24,000 students we're aiming to get through next week. Uh, the messages will come out this week and the opportunity is there, but really you've got to take it, grasp it with both hands. Um, I know... Uh, if you talk to any of our Olympians, I'll tell you, you just got to grasp opportunity. And this is an opportunity, so don't waste it. There's an opportunity. All right, so you heard it. And um, as he said in the beginning of the video, Australia is the prototype for the NWO. Now, I watched uh, a little more of this a little earlier. And uh, they didn't really get in Pacifics, Pacifics as if uh, these children were forced or volunteered but anyway you heard what's going on he said 24,000 all right and then it showed a kid with his I guess I guess that's a, a picture where he showed um, let me see if I can find it yeah he showed his uh you know his thing all right so it is what it is now what I want to do is grab a few quick, uh, quick precepts Lord willing you're edified brother stay in the spirit uh, continue to pray because uh, at this point you know, all you can rely on is faith. And uh, we're in these times. You know, it's not coming, it's here. All right. I seen a video Elder Apostle uh, Tahar did earlier, you know, on the digital all, because that's exactly what it's all about. It's about the MO. All right. You know, the T, hashtag the B. All right. Revelations 13 16. So um, I want to grab this scripture here. All right. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and uh verse 13 it says there have no temptation taken you but such is common to man but yahweh is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it all right so you know at this point it's the uh, hour of temptation, you know, and it's coming, you know, upon all the world. It's starting in Australia very heavily, you know, and it's spreading. OK, that place, like he said, is the prototype for the NWO, you know, just as well as Canada, you know, and it's coming to a city near you. So the scriptures say, as the Lord say, he says, there is there have no temptation taken you, but it's such as is common to man. All right. So who's going to tempt you is Satan. OK, you know, that temptation, you know, is Satan, but it says taking you, but such as is common to man. It says, but Yahweh is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. So the Lord knows our measuring. He knows our measuring stick. 
all right so to say he knows the measureness the measurement he knows the measurement of our faith you know so he knows what can tip the iceberg you know he knows what's your cooling point he knows what your heat points are and it says Yahweh is faithful so our lord is faithful and you got to remember that you know we, we're in these uh times you know it's gonna have to prove your faith it says who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able so the lord ain't going to destroy brothers he ain't going to destroy you elected women as well all right that's why it's important you know for you women to get with uh a man of the lord you know or to be with your husband all right it says but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it so even with the same temptation remember if we endure to the end then Yahweh Shai said the same shall be saved so even with the same temptation it says also make a way for you to escape it says that ye may be able to bear it so it's all about bearing it so we have to pray for strength you know pray for endurance pray for more faith as a grain of a mustard seed faith that can move mountains all right now let me move on let's go and it's going to be a quick lesson maybe a quick hit right this is revelations chapter 3 uh verse 10 it says because thou has kept the word of my patience i also will keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth so they go that word again temptation it says, because thou has kept the word of my patience. So for those of the hopeful elect who kept this word patiently, all right, suffering, all right, while serving Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, keeping the ordinance to the best of your ability, all right, keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, walking upright, all right, honesty, sincerity, and truth, 100% truth, walking in the light of Yahweh Shai, the Lord said, because thou has kept the word, all right, because remember, remember, he is the word, all right, Yahweh Shai is. It says, because thou has kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, all right? So the Lord got brothers, man, okay? And uh, he said he would keep you from the hour of temptation. You know, a lot of these, uh, well, let's say the two-thirds of our people, all right, they're going to lose their mind. When they get pressured all right now of course you know some of us shall be cast into prison and that would be your lot okay but the lord would not you know leave us forsaken he would give us that strength and that that faith so that we can bear it he'll make a way for us to escape as we just read but here revelations 3 and 10 because thou has kept the word of my patience I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. And it says, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. All right. Now, right now, what's coming upon all the world or has came upon all the world is the Satan's juice. Okay. The venom. But but it really boils down. All right. To that. Uh, to that. That device. All right. That microchip. Okay, that's what it's really going to boil down to. Okay, but even this is a trial run. All right, it says, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. It says, Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. All right, and that crown represents salvation and is also physically because the men, the elected men, the 144,000, you know, they're going to receive those crowns from Yahweh Shai. All right. And that's, uh, <clears throat> what's that? Second Edges 13, if I'm not mistaken. You know, I'll have to get it. Uh, so, like, yeah, I need to brush up real quick. So, I have to check it myself. Just want to make sure I'm on point. Second Edges 13. Is it 13? Pass a lot, yeah. 
Oh, no, it's not. Uh, crowns. Pocket for them. Yep, it's Second Edges 2 and 43, and I'll read it. This is Second Edges chapter 2, verse 43. And in the midst of them, there was a young man of high stature, taller than all the rest. And upon every one of their heads, he set crowns and was more exhorted, which I marveled at greatly. So I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortality and have confessed that the name of Yahweh <clears throat> now are they crowned and receive psalms. <clears throat> All right, so this is the elect, and these are the men. They put off what? The mortal clothing, and they put on immortality. So what we're about to receive, brothers, you know, even though it seems though hell is facing us, all right, in the face, but what we're about to receive, all right, is, is something so beautiful, all right, which is casting off this sinful flesh to put on a perfect body, all right, spirit and flesh is one. All right, being a, a extraterrestrial. All right, so it says, well, basically being um, being one and having your spirit one with the flesh. All right, so that you'll be walking perfectly. All right, with the Lord laws and our inward parts. So it says, and have confessed the name of Yahweh. Now are they crowned and receive psalms. It says, then said I unto the angel, what young person is it that crowneth them? And he give giveth them psalms in their hands so he answered and said unto me it is the son of the most high whom they have confessed in the world then began i greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the lord so it's all about standing stiffly for the name of the lord you know and how do you do that is remaining in the light all right remaining walking in righteousness enduring and your uh your burdens you know, your cross, right? The Lord said, um, um, he that looketh back is not fit for the kingdom. So we're not looking back and we're not looking to save our life for this world's sakes. We're looking to lose our life for Yahweh Shai's sake, all right? Whatever that lot may be, it's all about salvation. So standing stiffly for the name of the Lord. Now it says, back in Revelations chapter 3, verse 12, it says, him that overcometh, see? about overcoming it says him that overcometh will i make a pillar in the temple of my power and he shall go no more out and i will write upon him the name of my god and the name of the city of my god which is new jerusalem which cometh down out of heaven from my power and i will write upon him my new name all right yasha allah okay so now i want to grab my last precept here and uh Lord willing, I pray you edify it. Uh, this is Psalms chapter 50, verse 22. It says, Cast out burden upon Yahweh, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. So it's all about praying, you know, and uh, standing in faith and, and, you know, casting your burdens upon the Lord, man. You know, we have to trust in that and believe in that. It says, And he shall sustain thee. All right, now we all know what the word sustain mean, but just for edification's sake, this is the Collins English. It says, if you sustain something, you continue it or maintain it for a period of time. And the Lord is going to, you know, sustain us while we in this poor flesh, this sinful flesh, because he knows we in need. He knows we in, in dire needs of, of a help, of a savior. And that's your how shy. All right, so basically the point is sustain. If you sustain something, you continue it or maintain it for a period of time. And we got to remain faithful all the way to the end until we get on those chariots, man. All right. It says, he shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. Verse 23. But thou, O Yahweh, shall bring them down into the pit of destruction. Bloody and deceitful men shall not live out mm -hmm. half their days but i will trust in thee all right because ultimately esau and his kingdom is going going to that pit of destruction 
all right? These bloody and deceitful men, you know, that's doing these things, all right? And soon it's going to come to a city near you. This is in ha this happening in Australia, all right? So, Lord willing, I pray this lesson was edifying, you know, uh, may it edify the hopeful elect, you know, continue, like I said, continue to keep praying, man, stand in the spirit, you know, and uh, doing what it is to take to see salvation. So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakwadash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.